I'm Derek Hoffner, and in this video, we'll talk about what you should be thinking about after you incorporate your business. So once you incorporate, the first thing you should do is open a business bank account. Why, you ask? Because once you've incorporated your business, you've actually created a new person at law. And that person needs its own bank account in its own name. You won't get all the benefits of incorporating if you do not separate your personal funds from your business funds. Once the business bank account is all set up, each shareholder then needs to pay for their shares by depositing money into the new business bank account. For a new corporation, the shareholders usually pay a nominal amount listed in the minute book documents. And the last bit of housekeeping is to determine whether or not you will register for a GST HST number. If you anticipate earning more than $30,000 in annual gross revenue, you are required to register for a GST HST number and charge sales tax to your customers. Now, if you're looking to learn more about GST and HST, check out our video on that topic. While it's not legally required, it often makes sense to register for a GST HST number early, rather than waiting to hit that $30,000 threshold. This way, you will be accumulating tax credits for any business expenses you incur, and you may be entitled to a tax refund at the end of the year. Now let's get to everyone's favorite topic, ongoing corporate maintenance. After incorporating, your business has an obligation to maintain certain documents and records. In exchange for the legal and tax benefits of incorporating, you're expected to keep your corporation up to date and in compliance with the law. The first bit of corporate maintenance is actually the easiest. You are required to keep your company documents in an organized manner. Now, this can be done in an old fashioned, big old paper binder, or like we do with owner through a secure online minute book. So when you're in line at the grocery store, you can simply peruse your minute book on your phone. The second piece of corporate maintenance is updating your company details when they change. For example, when you want to add a new director or change your company address, you have an obligation to file forms with the government and prepare corporate resolutions which officially approve the company changes. These usually need to be completed within a short amount of time after the change has been made. Thankfully, owner takes care of all this corporate paperwork through our automated platform. Lastly, each year your company will need to file an annual return with the government and pay the associated fees. And please remember, an annual return is different from a tax return. You'll also need to prepare an annual shareholder resolution and director resolution. These are all mandatory documents in order for your business to stay compliant. If you fail to file the annual return, the government can dissolve your company. And you guessed it, owner takes care of filing your annual returns automatically as well. So click on the link in the description below to check out owner and learn more.